Hi, this is Tony Richards, and in this segment, I'm going to talk to you about expressing your inspiration. Most dynamic and effective leaders are inspired in some way. This inspiration comes from having a vivid purpose and vision for their life and for their leadership. I know it probably sounds as if this should already be obvious, but you must first be inspired before you can share your inspiration with others. When you discover who you are and why you're here, you begin to see your purpose in life, which helps you develop a vision for an envisioned future. As you develop your vision, you begin to clearly know what you want to accomplish and how to go after it. This generates an energy and a passion which needs some outlet of expression. It might be verbal or it might be visual. It might be musically or it might be through something written. When you inspire someone by expressing your inspiration, it causes others to discover themselves and in turn want to express their inspiration and vision as well. I've had many leaders over my coaching career, many musicians, many singers, painters, speakers, and other vocations inspire me to go beyond my fear and my trepidations to be who I'm supposed to be and to express my own vision and my own inspiration. And I'm sure you have as well. Grandma Moses was born in 1860 and her birth name was Anna Mary Robinson. She worked for rich families before she married, moved to a farm with her husband, and she had 10 children. She loved artistic work and especially needlework, and when she was 78, she was plagued with arthritis, which made it very difficult to hold needles, so she took up painting. A New York art collector spotted her painting she had placed in a drugstore. The art collector took her prints back to Manhattan, and Grandma Moses quickly became an international sensation. Her paintings became best-selling postcards, calendars, and greeting cards exhibited in galleries all over the world. She painted over 1,500 canvases in 30 years, many of which after she turned 100. Originally, she sold her art for somewhere between $3 and $5 each. Toward the end of her life, they were fetching several thousand dollars, and in 2006, one of her works sold at auction for $1.2 million. It pays to share your inspiration. Now, your effective leadership depends on the ability to get people to want to join in your vision. Now, this only comes from a level of inspiration that you can create. Your most valuable asset is people. We refer to them as talent because that's what they are. They're just like you, the leader. They're unique. And within a plethora of talents and skills, they come to work to implement your vision and their vision collaboratively. When they have expert guidance through excellent leadership, their talent flourishes and grows producing wonderful results. If you have five talented people you can probably guide and inspire, they will easily outperform 10 other people who lack influence and inspiration from anyone. Leaders who can inspire their teams to do much more with less, such as fewer people and smaller budgets. Inspired leaders who share their inspiration also attract better talent and enjoy more loyalty from their people. If you haven't done it yet, spend time discovering your own inspiration. Once you have that, you can be like Grandma Moses, relentless in sharing it with everyone, and your inspiration will catch on with others, and it'll grow. Thank you for listening to Better Than Before with Tony Richards, a business leaders podcast powered by Clear Vision Development Group. For more resources from Tony, visit clearvisiondevelopment.com. Join us next time for another episode of Better Than Before with Tony Richards.